Hello Minecrafters, we have a revised design here. I've been uh, loving your suggestions, uh, particularly working with Katkov, uh, trying to solve a little problem where when you switch between powered and unpowered signals, for a moment the pulse uh, torch will light up, which for many implementations really won't matter. Um, but if it matters, if it just blinks on, that would mess up whatever you were uh, planning, we've got a failsafe. And uh, I'm just going to prove that right here. So we'll turn uh, the pulse off. Now we're going to switch between powered and unpowered. And you'll notice that um, left bottom torch is not lighting up when we switch between them. And the way that is done here uh, is uh, here's where the AND gate is that'll turn on if it's pulsed. And uh, this inverter is attached here to give a two tick, tick delay down to here which powers this repeater, which we can set at whatever delay we have. We have at a delay of three. Back to this inverter to give the original um, powered on signal, which adds two extra ticks. So in total, this is uh, seven ticks. And what that means is when you have this repeater just sending the original signal here, there's a difference of six ticks. That means that the signal must be on for at least six ticks for this torch to turn on. And so even though we can actually see the uh, torches blink for a little bit when we switch, that torch in the left, it isn't, long en it isn't on long enough to last this delay to keep this torch powered. And uh, that's just basically setting up another AND gate in front of the original AND gate and setting a delay. It's not actually altogether different uh, from what's going on in these layers, but it's a simple, very small addition that you can make to this uh, three signals and one wire decoder. And uh, I hope that solves um, everyone's problems. Thanks for the suggestions. I'm loving them. Let's keep this up.